Okay, now uh, let's discuss uh, variance estimation. So, uh, recall, uh, okay. So, so let's like, take a look at the variance formula here. Okay. So, if you remove all this, okay. It's clear. So, so when you, so how the main question is how to estimate, right? So we are interested in estimating this. So how to estimate this? Okay, let's estimate the, the first term and sep second term separately. So estimating this guy, the this guy is not difficult because. You have a summation. This summation in the population can be uh, changed to summation in the sample, and then you you have only to divide by multiply this term. So that uh, this part is not problem, uh, and also you can you can use this is the sample variance, so you can use this small s i square to compute the, uh, this SI square term. That part is not a problem. The tricky part is this guy, ST square. ST square is, is, is this guy, population uh, variance of the TIs. And TI, if TIs are all observed, then you would estimate it by T, small TI square, right? The, from the sample. Sample variance of TI. But the problem is you don't observe TI. You only observe TI hat. So that is the problem. Okay. So basically here the SSU is not really big there. But PSU, you need to estimate this guy. And uh, if if T, TIs are all observed as in the uh, single stage sampling, it's not a problem. Uh, but you don't observe this, but you only have a TI hat. So then, even though ST square is equal to ST square, so this is true, but this is, but uh, the TI hat, if I use TI hat, it's not true. So we don't, we no longer have this equality. Okay, so so how can we find unbiased estimator for ST square? So so uh, the idea is we want to sh first we want to show this. Okay, so once we show this, we can basically uh, so we want to find so so this is what we want, and this is what we get. So, so this is a, this estimator expectation turns out to be st square plus something plus. So we uh, subtract to here, move it to here, to subtract. Okay. And uh, what is this? Basically, uh, the form here is that. See, uh, if you look at the. This form. So expectation of this guy has two two random things going on. One is the expectation of with respect to first stage sampling, and then you have another one as T square, right? So T I hat. I mean, sorry, T I hat. So so T hat. So so that means. There's a two things going on because you have a, a subscript i uh, sampling of cluster and then you have a sampling of element. So, so and so so the, so you end up getting uh, something additional, which has to do with the uh, uh, second stage sampling. Okay. Uh, turns out that uh, the proof for this one is a little bit tricky. Uh, So it's a little bit 
more than uh, what we can expect from uh, 421. So I will just briefly uh, explain the concept and then leave you guys to to study uh, further if you are interested. Okay. So st hat square is uh, so if you write this way. So that is uh, that's what. So you have an estimator divided minus the true parameter in plus the i population total, and then st i square is n i minus one. I T I hat minus T I hat bar, right? Something like that. So so T so this notation is just the sample mean of the T I hats. And then if you write it if you write it uh define E I then uh you have a T I plus E I. So you can decompose. So and then this one is only subject to second stage sampling error. Okay. So so you can you may be able to write it uh, ti minus t bar plus ei minus e bar okay so you can write it that, that this way and then you can even write it like uh, expand it basically something like that Plus cross product, right? And then turns out that the cross product term has a zero expectation. So so here's a sketch. So the cross product term has a is is equal to zero in expectation two. In the second stage sampling, and then the first term is unbiased. for st square. This is what we want. And then this guy is the additional term and then this is unbiased for in the end unbiased for the, the additional term which is uh, something like this. Okay. So that's the basic uh, idea and so that's how you get this one. Okay. The details of the its proof is a little bit involved, so I I post it to to the uh, script. So if you have a, if you are more interested, then you can uh, you can check the script. But uh, the basic idea is uh, just uh, using uh, some kind of uh, um, sampling property of the uh, second stage sampling. Okay. So now, if you sort of take this one and then obtain uh, this bias corrected estimator. So this is uh, unbiased for st square, right? So then you can basically plug in. So this is your variance form. This is what you want. This is what you want. And now you, you know how to obtain an estimator, unbiased estimator, and how to uh, this part, second part is easy, right? So that's what I already talked. And then do some algebra. And so this one, you, you basically plug in what? Plug, uh, so let's call this uh, star, okay? Star, and then you use this star. Uh, I'm sorry, this one. Okay, so you use this, this formula to here, Okay, to here, so star, and then, then you have a uh, star means that you have a, this one. Okay, what is this? The first term minus this uh, correction term. Right? I mean the additional term, right? So, so minus this additional term plus the original term here. Okay, and then 
and then uh, interestingly uh, they, there's a, some kind of cancels, cancellation and then you end up getting uh, the only thing one only one term left which is this one okay so that gives you a uh, formula for variance estimation okay so so uh, if you that uh, this variance estimation this variance formula this so this is the final formula okay this is the final formula it's the sum of the two terms right the first term and second term okay so now if you uh, look at these two terms carefully uh, one interesting observation is that so this one is some sort of a constant so this one is a n ni square divided by ni copagi something right and here this one is more like a, this is summation and so you the summation is a summation number of summation is ni right so so the whole thing you can expect that this one is the ni times something something some kind of constant so so if you which one is bigger so basically you you have a uh, this guy the first term is ni times ni over ni times something and second one is the, this one. So, so if you compare these two, usually this is very large. Okay, so this is quite large, much larger than one. And so, for example, if you how many household in in the U.S. like uh, say uh, more than right so so it's a uh, 500 5000 so if you think of this way this ratio is, is quite large so so as long as this uh, ratio sampling rate cluster sampling rate for the cluster sampling is negligible then the first term dominate at then the second term so second term is essentially negligible so you can basically ignore the second term which is very good news and then just uh, uh, use the first one and this part is ignorable right so so that means you just have this form simple formula so basically you just uh, what is the formula you have a variance formula variance estimation formula on the simple random sampling with uh, yi replaced by ti hat that's it right so that's uh, uh, the derivation is quite involved but in the uh, in the end the formula uh, is actually quite simple